morning, everyone. This is Austin from Robles. Just did like an hour of breath work to start out my day, and it's about 6.30 now. I've got my, got my burdock ginger tea. Um, I simmered it at a much lower temperature today. I think yesterday I kind of overdid it. Much more pleasant, mild, earthy flavor. So I'm going to sip on this and then head to the park, start my workout. It's a bit cloudy today, but you know, not, not too cloudy. All right, I just got back from my uh, bar workout. Just mostly try to do pull-ups today. Now just did a lot of uh, quarter way pull-ups or third of the way pull-ups. Just kept doing that until I burned out. Got some orange oranges here and some ginger I'm gonna juice up. I'm gonna show you how easy this is in the Kuving C7000, look at this. Come on. Slowly chewing away. There you go. Look at that. Easy. There's some ginger in there. Super easy orange juice. Usually I squeeze them, but these ones are pretty big. And then the last bit of ginger. Oh, that's actually a lot of juice. I didn't think I'd get that much. It's from four oranges. Wow. That's a good yield. It's actually made quite a good yield. Let's try it. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. A bit more bitter than if you were to just juice it, like without the whole fruit, you know, just squeeze it. And I actually prefer this because it's not as sweet. And like, I think the seeds give it that bitterness, like when you juice the seeds and those are very powerful. It's very good medicine. So I'm actually going to sit in the sauna for a bit before I sip on the rest of this. And I love my, I love my friends. Um, they give me great motivation to work out. But, man, they talk about sex so much. In the morning, it's just, they talk about, like, having sex with each other. And I'm like, of course, like, I understand, you know, like, I was, you know, 19, you know, a little while ago. And, uh, yeah, we made those same, we made those same jokes, like, oh, my gosh. You know? So silly, but now I'm just like, yep, it's another day, another sexual joke. Like, I just don't find it funny anymore, honestly. Like, it's whatever. But, uh, yeah, I, I noticed that a lot with, um, you know, big, strong alpha males. It's like they're just obsessed with, you know, getting girls, and it's like, you know, maybe that's just a part of yourself that you're not loving. You know, you, you find a lack in yourself so that you search for it in someone else. That's just my own perspective. Um, I don't think it's healthy to be to be lusting over women like that. You know, it's kind of it's kind of sad to be honest. Ah, oh, just gotta share. Just gotta share my opinion. Just gotta put it out there. Hey everyone. It's about 10.30 and I'm back here at the beach where I have my workout this morning, right over there. Um, and yeah, it's a beautiful day. Gotta be really careful today. It is so windy. I saw like a, I saw a bike accident and there was this little girl that got hurt, but luckily she's okay. So freaking windy. Like I, I had to come to this beach. I couldn't even 
eat at the other beach. Like there was sand flying everywhere, like all up in my face. I was like, it's brutal. This is a really big dragon fruit, white dragon fruit. I think that's, I'm going to try and make that my uh, thumbnail. Hopefully this lighting is good. Let's see. Oh, this dragon fruit looks so good. Mm. Super sweet. Oh, I forgot to pray. Thank you, God, for this food I'm about to receive. Please bless the hands that allowed it to come to me today. Please help it nourish, energize, and regenerate every cell in my body. In Jesus' name, amen. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the wind. Maybe I'll try and yell a bit. Mmm. <laughs> That's so juicy. I don't know if you guys can tell. Very good. So happy the sun's out. It's been a couple days. It's been a couple days since seeing the sun. I mean, I did see the sun briefly like yesterday in the afternoon. But man, it's nice. These blue skies back. How is the weather where you guys are? You guys, I know some of my friends are getting snow. And they're loving it actually. I'm not a big fan of snow, but that's just me. So let me know in the comments below. What's the weather like? Do you love it? Do you hate it? For me, it seems, let me know if this holds true to you or not, but during a full moon, the weather's more crazy. I don't know, like that's what I've noticed the past few full moons. And um, yeah, let me know if there's any correlation or if I'm crazy, if you're like, Austin, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. There's no correlation between the moon and the weather. Um, but you notice the tides are different for sure. Um, like more intense waves and stuff like that. But anyways, that's how I'm uh, getting on with my day. It's 1030 now. And yeah, I'm just really enjoying this dragon fruit. I'll probably eat half now, wait about an hour and eat the other half. It's super satisfying. I'll see you guys. I found a noni fruit on the side of the road. Super fresh, I'm so excited. Blue cheese fruit. Back to the park. Yeah. Having a little coconut. These are crazy sweet. I got some Cavendish bananas for the nostalgia. It's been so long. Pretty good actually. Except for that part. I'm not gonna eat that. Got a few of these here. Munching after my coconut. I don't think I've been to this park before. It's very nice. It's very quiet. I like it a lot. It's a cool little park. Got little animal statues, got a mouse over there. I don't know, let's see. Let's see what we got here. These look like those Russian, those Russian dolls that like go inside each other. <laughs> oh, these are so cool. You guys know what I'm talking about? Those dolls that you like stack inside each other? 
Very cool. See, there's the ocean over the here. It's got this huge open green spot. There's a heart over there. And there's Alvin. Alvin from the chipmunks. I love the parks here in Vietnam. It's one of my favorite things about this country. It's a little, looks like a blue mouse. There's that heart. And look, it's Alvin and, uh, what's the other guy's name, Simon? There's some exercise equipment over there. That's got to be Alvin, you guys. Is this Alvin? Oh my God, look at that, it's Alvin. Here's another chipmunk, I forgot his name. He's the one that wears the green. Wow, this is cool. Who they, who they got over here? This little... Is that Doramon? Doramon's really popular here. I don't know if you guys know that. And there's one more chipmunk. Some cafes and stuff over here. Bookstore. Okay. It's uh, Theodore, I think. I forget. So they got some cool... Nice little rainbow sitting spots and some exercise equipment yeah I really dig this park I'll probably come here more often actually they have Wi-Fi too holy crap got these these mini cucumbers I've never seen them before but they are so good I didn't even peel this one because I wanted to try it it's so crunchy and these must be local because look at how green they are deep green and then I got just like a regular cucumber this one's like kind of bumpy I noticed the bumpy ones are way better flavor um, some calamansi and a jelly coconut oh this is gonna be a good dinner and here I got the cucumber the coconut jelly and bunch of calamansi juice, you can see. And then I got some noni here. There was part of it that was ripe, so I just cut off the edge, and I'm gonna mix that in the salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so stoked for this dinner. Oh my gosh. Let me pray real quick. Thank you, God, for this food I am about to receive. Please bless the hands that allow it to come to me today. Please help it nourish, energize, and regenerate my body. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, this is it. Cucumber, coconut jelly, a little bit of noni, and calamansi juice. Mm. Oh my god, that was so good. I have to start getting those small coconuts more because they always have the jelly, the small brown coconuts. Mm. divine. It's kind of funky. The calamansi mixes with the with the noni. You know, noni is like a blue cheese fruit, so it's like 
Mm, it's cheesy and like kind of salty and kind of tangy. I don't know. Absolutely wonderful. You don't need many ingredients in a salad when all the all the ingredients pop like they're very high quality. These cucumbers are incredible and look, they're so cute. Surprised I haven't seen those before. I wonder if there's a cucumber season. It's so good, you guys. I wish I could share it with you. But anyways, kind of a long video today. Thank you so much if you watched to the end. It really means a lot to me. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. Make sure to eat raw. Stay blissful. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.